Hello and welcome to the Daily Meal for Wednesday the 23rd of March 2022. Now, uh, we're going to start off with this today in Millwall News. Um, so this is from uh, news.metpolice.uk. They've put out some pictures of some fans. I don't know if they're Millwall fans or Crystal Palace fans. I assume they're Millwall fans because they're mostly dressed in black and navy blue and if they were crystal palace fans you would imagine they would be wearing their sh those uh dopey striped kits that they wear because they they love a kit don't they um maybe with shorts and socks as well um so the pictures are at the top i'm not going to show them but you, you'll probably find them i'd imagine some of the local uh, press might publish them tomorrow um but um yeah, so it says appeal to identify 10 men following disorder at Mill versus Crystal Palace game. So it says, so this, as you can see, was published on uh, 23rd at 7 o'clock. So it's been up a few hours. And if you see, the headline says 10. There were 10 pictures. They've deleted or kind of cropped one of the pictures now. It's 9. So I'm guessing they've identified one of the people. Um, so officers from the Mets football investigation team are appealing for help to identify nine men following violent disorder at Millwall versus Crystal Palace FA Cup game at the Den Stadium in January. They are sought following alleged attacks on opposing fans at around 2.45 on the 8th of January. Uh, they are also appealing to have identified one man in that image in connection with a suspected homophobic public order offence in the stands during a match. So... Maybe they, some of them are Crystal Palace fans because Crystal Palace fans do have uh, a terrible history of being um, arrested and charged with uh, homophobic offences. So maybe it might be Crystal Palace fans. Um, but yeah, uh, like I said, uh, the pictures are at the top. I'm not going to show them, but... Uh, if uh, you want to see, I imagine you'll, you it will be quite easy to find them, uh, probably on Met Police's Twitter or something like that. Um, so, that's what we're going to start out with. So, if you went to that game and you think uh, you might be uh, one of the people involved, uh, we can try and find out and see if you are. Um, so, we're going to move on now to this from newsitden.co.uk. And it is Mill Manager Garrett suggests one possible reason for the Lions injury problems. Mill Manager Garrett suggested the new surface at the Den this season could be one reason for the club's lengthy injury list this season. Mill replaced the pitch last summer at a cost of around one million. It was delayed for a year as the Lions had a huge drop in revenues. Football was played behind closed doors at the end of the 2019-20 season and all of the 2021 campaign. The surface is a hybrid of grass and artificial fibres. The previous surface retained water and the club also replaced the architecture underneath. A route confirmed yesterday that Mason Bennett could miss the rest of the season with a calf injury. Uh, Mill's entire senior outfield playing squad have been unavailable at different times this season through either injury or positive COVID-19 tests. Um, yeah, I think the only player who hasn't been injured is Billy Mitchell. So... Are they, they suggest that he was out through COVID. Um, maybe, maybe. We did have a couple of games called off. So he might have been one of the players involved in that. Uh, there's no di direct correlation, but a lot of teams have had injury problems when they've gone, gone from a soft first team pitch to a deso pitch, which is a, which is a lot firmer route, it said. So you're training on a soft training pitch. Most of our injuries have occurred at the Den. There have also been quite a few players from other clubs going down injured. Look, the pitch is fabulous. It's something they needed doing. It's something that the club spent the money on, and we're really grateful for that. But there's there may be a slight correlation. We might have to soften the Den pitch or firm up the training ground pitches a little bit so there's not so much of a difference and to try and learn from it. I'm not suggesting that's the only reason, but it could be a possible reason for some of them. We'll look into it, certainly. Indeed. Now, um, so Rao has said this before, so I don't know if they're just, because uh, it's International Week, they're bringing this back. Um, I'm not sure who, maybe it was uh, the South London Press published it, the News of Den didn't, so News of Den thought, well, well, let's mention it now. Or maybe Rao said it again, I don't know what's uh, 
uh, in light of the Mason, Mason Bennett injury that's uh, had him out for the season, maybe he said it again. Um, but yeah, so what he's saying is uh, not the not not the pitch itself, but the the contrast where you're playing every day at the training pitch at Calment Road, and it's kind of soft, and you play a certain way with certain boots, and then you come to the den, and you don't adjust, you don't adapt, you don't change your boots. Um, it's a bit of a shock to your body, and. One thing that we have noticed this season, I don't know if you have, but I have, is the club seemingly training a lot at the den, a lot more than they usually do. At least, at least maybe once or twice a month. Actually, doing training on the pitch at the den, and they're having they're putting the pitches up on Twitter and on on the OS. So, it suggests that they're probably trying to trying to deal with it in a certain way um, by having the players train more on the pitch so but having said that our home form is fantastic uh, the results we get at home are a lot better than away so it hasn't affected um, too much the actual results at home just uh, maybe maybe it affects the the visiting teams as well because we have seen some injuries um, from away teams. Um, so maybe it, it kind of affects them as well. Maybe they they struggle to adapt to it. So maybe that 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 helps us out in terms of our home form. Don't know, but um, I have I did make a video to this. I don't know if you've seen it. Uh, it's this one here is our hybrid new hybrid pitch causing our injury problems and I kind of discuss it go through it um, discuss the company behind it um, suggestions in the past from clubs like Bournemouth um, about when they changed their pitch it was, they had a load of injuries in that season as well um, so I go into the science of it the, the thing called G-Max is how you measure how hard a surface is uh, using a Clegg impact soil tester to find the, the G max. So, and then that, that bit of kit costs around three grand, and you basically lift up a thing and drop it down, and then it measures how hard the thing is. And uh, there you can see here the NFL requires a Clegg impact soil tester to be used to measure G max prior to every game. All areas within the field of play must be below 100 GMAX. So what's our GMAX at the den? Have they been testing it? Do they know? And does water in the pitch actually do anything? Or is the drainage too good? So what is the GMAX after a heavy downfall? Does it improve it? Don't know. But I uh, did make a 56 minute video about it. It's if you go to the page, the home page of the channel, the Daily Millwall, it's pinned at the top. So, um, maybe check that out if you're interested. And, um, so let's go back. And so, we all look into it certainly. And Millwall are, are looking into it, they are bringing the scientists in, Millwall hiring sports science interns. Uh, Millwall Football Club is looking for two enthusiastic sports science undergraduate, postgraduate or PhD students to join the club's developing sports science department for the 22-23 season. The position will involve working with both the first team and under 23 squads and will be predominantly based at the training ground in Bromley. The working hours will be flexible but generally consist of four to five days per week for the duration of the season. Candidates will start on the 23rd of June 2022 and will finish in May 2023. And uh, closing dates for applications is Friday the 8th of April 2022, so a couple of weeks. So what's this all about? Um, so Mill FCE. Oh yeah, I've just read that on the other thing. So yeah, this is what they'll be doing. Um, sports science shit and all of that. 
and it's reading through this um, it's probably a good opportunity for a student who is studying this stuff and wants to progress to get involved in a, uh, f a professional football team um, there are a lot of things uh, that you need to be able to do and uh, one thing it doesn't say here is uh, financial compensation which is a bit wrong I hope they're not trying to get people if it's an unpaid internship especially when they're working five days a week for the whole season um, nude I don't know about that but uh, that seems a bit sketchy I hope they do do end up paying them but uh, so there you go and that is it for today's video thank you for watching and goodbye